close your eyes and watch your breath. All the way in, all the way out. Notice where the process of breathing feels most comfortable, because that's what you're going to focus on, not necessarily the air coming in and out from the nose, but the flow of energy in the body that allows the chest to rise and fall, the abdomen to rise and fall, so the air can come in and go out. That's what you sense most directly when you sense the breathing. So notice where in the body it's most prominent, where it's easiest to follow. Let your attention settle there, and then ask yourself, is this really comfortable? Because the breath can be longer, it could be shorter, deeper, more shallow, heavier, lighter, faster, slower. All kinds of variations in the breath, and you can try them out. It's like tasting different kinds of food until you decide this food is the f combination that's right for me. Because what you're trying to do is create a sense of well-being here in the present moment. To get the mind settled down, to get the mind concentrated, it has to have an affinity for its object. The object has to feel good. At the same time, you're giving yourself a sense of pleasure that the mind not only wants to stay here, but it feels solidly here. It feels like it belongs. And then when you've got this inner sense of well-being, then you look at the world outside, you can be a lot more particular about how you're going to look for your happiness outside. Because we all want happiness in life. This is the reason why we act, speak, think. We're looking for happiness. And what's distinctive about the Buddha's teachings is that he says, one, the pursuit of happiness is not necessarily a bad thing. It doesn't make you feel embarrassed or ashamed that you're looking for happiness. But two, he says you've got to be responsible. In other words, you have to think about the consequences of your actions. The way you look for happiness, the kind of happiness you look for, is go it's going to have results. It's going to have an impact on other people and an impact on yourself. So you want to be responsible, not only in the sense of taking on the responsibility of looking for happiness through your own actions, but also responsible for the consequences of your actions. This is why he says you want to look for a happiness that's blameless, doesn't harm anybody at all. There's a passage where King Basenity is in the palace with his queen, and he asks her in a tender moment, okay, is there anyone you love more than yourself? And he, of course he's expecting her to say, yes, Your Majesty, I love you more than anybody. But no, she doesn't say that at all. She says, no, in fact, there's nobody I love more than myself. And how about you? Is there anyone you love more than yourself? And the king has to admit that, no, that's not the case. So that's the end of that scene. Didn't go where the king wanted it to go. But he goes down and sees the Buddha, and the Buddha says, you know, she's right. You could search the whole world and not find anybody that you love more than yourself, in the same way other people love themselves fiercely. But he doesn't draw from that the conclusion that it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. What he says is you have to be very careful about how you look for your happiness so you don't harm other people. In other words, for your happiness to, to last, it can't depend on anyone else's suffering. So this is why we look for happiness inside, because the happiness that comes from within inside doesn't take anything away from anyone else. And it actually puts us in a stronger position so that we're not so desperate to just grab at whatever comes our way. So learn to look for your happiness inside. It can start with the way you focus on your breath. It's a very simple process, but you'll begin to notice that the way you breathe has an impact on you, the way you sense the whole body. And you can spread that sense of well-being around the body. Think of it flowing in, flowing out through all the pores of your skin. And that way you can be more particular and more responsible for how you look for happiness outside in the way that's for your well-being and for the well-being of others. <laughs>